This is your source for local news in the heartland. This is KTBO's Good Morning Heartland. And good morning, it is 623. As you know, germs live everywhere and no matter how much you clean, they just come back. But yep. can you name the germiest place? I have a list of the 12 germiest places okay. around. So I want to ask you, what do you think is the germiest place? I don't know, um, I would, probably your keyboard. It's on the list, but that's really? not the germiest place. I had asked Kelly, our camera operator, and she says belly button. <laughs> I don't even want to ask why. And then we asked Simone during the break, and right. she says the toilet. Yeah, which that's another good one. Kind of comes on the list, but it's a certain type of toilet. Okay. So, anyways, all right. So, number 12, we're going to count down from 12 to 1. Let's do number it. 12, hotel room remote. What's the first thing you do when you yeah. settle into your hotel room? Grab the remote. Right. Experts suggest you clean the remote with a disinfecting wipe beforehand. All right, number 11, are you ready? Let's do it. It is your office phone. Office phones have more than 25,000 germs per square inch, and your desk computer and mouse keyboard aren't too far behind. Simply cleaning your desk, phone, and keyboard with a disinfecting wipe once in the middle of the day will actually kill 99.9% .9 of the bacteria. And that's so easy. I'm going to do that yeah. right after the show. All right, number 10, your bathtub. And this is kind of surprising because it's a place where you get clean, but in fact, it's the dirtiest. Tubs typically have more than 100,000 bacteria per square inch. Really? And the tub is a fairly moist environment, so bacteria loves to grow there. And you're encouraged to disinfect your tub once a week. Once a week? Yes. Are you ready for number 9? Number nine is mats and machines at health clubs. Okay. And just remember to wipe down machines with antibacterial sprays, and they usually have those at the gym right. for you. And of course, this is a no-brainer. Always, always um, take a shower after your workout. Yeah. Number eight, which just popped up on the screen, uh, playgrounds. When researchers sampled playgrounds, they found blood, mucus, saliva, and urine. Really? Now, you're encouraged to take alcohol wipes and hand sanitizers and clean everyone's hands a couple of times during a park visit. Also, pick warm, sunny days for outdoor play. The sun's ultraviolet light is nature's disinfectant. Yeah, and I bet those never really get cleaned. I never even yeah, thought about that. Yeah, so make sure to bring a hand sanitizer. There you go. All right, number seven, your handbag. Thousands of bacteria <laughs> can live on the bottom of your bag. Same goes for makeup bags and your wallet, Mr. Dugues. Yeah. Sometimes these bacteria can cause eye infections. You're always touching it, and then you rub your eye, and then... I did spill uh, syrup in my wallet the other day. Not good news there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, not... Ugh. All right, so instead, of, <laughs> so instead of slinging your bag onto the floor, which I always do, <laughs> you're um, advised to hang it up somewhere and wipe your bag down every few days. Also try to stick with leather or vinyl in general. Okay. Both are cleaner than cloth. Oh. Number six, ATM buttons. These buttons have more gunk on them than most public bathroom doorknobs. And if you think about it, you, thousands of people touch right. these buttons every day. And I mean, the money in general yes. is pretty dirty itself, so the combination. Yeah. And going with the buttons, so do vending machine buttons, bus yeah. armrest, and escalator handrails. Sanitize your hands after each use. Number five, shopping cart handles, of course. Yep. Nowadays, you go to any store and they always have the exactly. disinfecting wipes. So there you go. Number four, public drinking fountains. No surprise here. Saliva, bacteria, and fecal matter are just a few things found on drinking fountains, especially in schools with that, your kids. That's kind of disturbing. Yes. So you're encouraged to, if your child's school allow it, to have them bring a bottled water with them right. and drink from that. So, yes. All right, number three, a load of wet laundry. Don't let your laundry sit in the washer after it's done. Quickly remove it. Also, wash your undergarments separately for same reasons of kind of what bacteria is on yeah. there. And dry for at least 45 minutes. Huh. So there you go. And I'm the worst. I always leave my laundry in the washer. I, say, I do the same thing sometimes. I'll start it when I go to bed and then throw it in the dryer when I wake up. And Yeah, okay. Are you ready for number two? Airplane bathrooms. And it all has <laughs> to do with the toilet. Think about it. You flush yeah. and it sprays. Right. So it sprays on the wall <laughs> and on the sink and everything. So you're encouraged to put the toilet seat down yeah. and cover. And run out as fast and as possible. And then flush <laughs> and then wash your hands afterwards. All right. And are you ready for the number one drum, drum roll, roll, please? The number one germiest place is the kitchen sink. Your huh. kitchen sink can actually be dirtier than the bathrooms. And don't forget your sponge. That carries a lot of germs as well. So to reduce your risk of salmonella or E. coli, clean your kitchen counters and sink with an antibacterial product and sanitize your sponge by securing them in the top rack and running them through the dishwasher's wash and dry cycle. Yeah, I have and heard you that. should always clean your sink twice a week with a solution of one tablespoon chlorine bleach and one quart of hot water. So there you go. Those are the germiest places. Some good tips there. And so hopefully you learned something. Know. Yeah, there you go. You're probably a lot gonna, of germs, so I'm not going to touch I'm gonna you. I'm going to carry around <laughs> disinfectant wipes all day today. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back.